Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today's Thursday and it's currently 8 a.m. and I'm already dressed and ready for the day because I am going to take pictures this morning, which is why I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore in my vlog from yesterday because I need to get a photo in it. And hopefully Natalia feels like stopping for coffee because I did not make a coffee this morning. I just got out of bed and started getting ready and I could really use a coffee. So in this bag, I just have my accessories like purses, hats, and some pants. And then up here, I just have the outfits planned. Some of this stuff is from Sunbunny, some of it's from Misguided, Princess Polly, just a big mixture of things, but all neutrals. I used my day designer for the first time and planned out my day for today. So here's kind of what it looks like. I definitely have more on my to-do list that's written in my phone I need to add to this. So it is way later now. I'm obviously back from taking pictures and we had so much fun today. I feel like it was our most successful shoot yet. It really helps when your photographer is basically like a friend so you don't feel awkward in front of them and you can just be yourself and it's like we're just hanging out. It doesn't feel like work. So we had a lot of fun. We shot some content for somebody's next drop and I am so excited. So here it is, I ordered a new mirror. I wanted one that was black because I told you guys we're doing away with the gold, but I do have a spot in mind for that gold one so that way it's still being used. I'm obsessed, it looks so, so good. It's a little bit smaller than the other one and the border is thicker and it's kind of like this rubberized material which helps it stay on the wall and not tip over, which I like. The other one was like really thin and it would constantly like slide around. So this is perfect and the black border kind of ties in with the grid. I love it. I just posted a little sneak peek of this black belt bag on Instagram. This is coming to somebody next Friday and it is freaking gorgeous, guys. I just wanna give you your little sneak peek. It's a black material. It does have a buckle in the back. And what I really love about it is the gold hardware and the fact that it also has a zipper on the back. So you have like this whole front pouch and then a little zipper in the back. And you can wear this like across your chest like a lot of people are. You can even wear it on your waist. I love this so much. It's so pretty. So I uploaded stuff on Poshmark yesterday and the day before and I sold quite a bit of stuff. So I'm going to be packaging all of that up and I have a bunch of Sun Bunny orders to package as well. I think you guys sold out of the Sun Bunny t-shirt again because there were so many orders in when I restocked that. So thank you for your support. I'm so excited for you guys to wear the Sun Bunny t-shirt because it's so comfortable and oversized and I just love it. If you guys don't follow me on Poshmark, you should. It's XO Melissa Lucy. I post lots of cute stuff on there. I have an accumulation of clothes, so I'm really trying to do a better job at consistently uploading things so that I can clear out my closet and make room for new things. And a lot of this stuff I only wear a few times or just wore it for a picture. A lot of things also still have tags if they didn't fit me or it was sent to me from a brand and I just didn't want to keep it. So check out my Poshmark. Okay, I got my Poshmark orders all packaged up and I decided to repurpose this Amazon box. So yeah, now I'm gonna work on Sun Money orders. officially caught up on some bunny orders and Poshmark orders and I swear to you there is no greater feeling but I will say running your own online store gives you a feeling that you're never really caught up but at the same time that just means your business is successful and I'm so grateful for that heading to the post office now and I am so tempted to stop and get something for lunch because I'm starving and there's so many options but I'm not gonna do it because I have stuff for lunch at home So 
So here's my lunch. I just made a little salad and I threw in some of the leftover chicken from last night's dinner. And I'm finally about to try this sparkling lemon water. So I'll let you guys know how it is. These are 100% my new favorite drink. I am serious, guys. It's so much better than a LaCroix. Like I was obsessed with LaCroix for a while, like years ago. And then I recently bought them again and I was just like, you know, I don't love it. They're good, but I feel like they're just like so sparkling and there's not like a ton of flavor. This right here tastes so good. I love that it has real lemon in it. I feel like I can totally tell that it's real lemon and not just lemon flavored because it tastes like when I make my glass of lemon water. Like when I go to a restaurant and I'm not getting a drink, I always get water with lemon in it and that's what this tastes like, except it's carbonated. So it's just like very satisfying. You should totally try this. Let me know what you think. I've gotten a lot done on my to-do list already. We are having a productive day and I actually crossed off laundry because I did that last night. So now I'm gonna call Massage Envy and schedule my monthly massage and then I'm gonna start working on inventory for some money. and I decided to do breakfast for dinner. So we made blueberry pancakes. Excuse what I look like. Chad and I are about to watch our show on Netflix. We recently started watching Blacklist, which I'm pretty sure has been around for a while, but it's actually a really, really good show and we're pretty hooked on it. So we're on season one, episode eight, and I feel like there's three seasons or something like that. This is the rest of my night. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, it's currently 8.30 a.m. and I'm about to leave the house and go get my massage. I called Massage Envy yesterday and they were able to get me an appointment the very next day. So I'm so excited. So I'm just wearing some sweatpants and a t-shirt. I didn't even bother putting my contact lenses in. Whenever I have contacts in and I go get a massage, I have my eyes shut for like an hour or an hour and a half and my eyes get really dry. So we're wearing glasses. I just finished my massage and oh my gosh, it was the freaking best. The guy who's been doing my massages lately, his name's Miguel. He is the best massage therapist. I'm convinced the entire Massage Envy has. I've had other therapists do my massage and then I just walk out and I'm like, okay. But every time after my massage with him, I feel so much better than when I walked in there. It's a little bit later now. I came home, I did my makeup, put some clothes on and now I'm about to get to work. I actually just got a very exciting package in and this is the final thing for my little office makeup. Makeover. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got and we're gonna put it together. So this is my new office chair and it's just a plain white rolling chair. This was really easy to build, but I still can't believe that I did it without Chad's help. I always make him help me with things when I'm building something. And it's such a cute little chair and I did it all by myself. And now we're gonna do a little Sephora unboxing. So I got three things. One is a restock of my favorite mascara. I always get questions about what mascara I'm wearing and it's always the NARS Climax. I've been using this for like a year now and I just love it so much. It's the best mascara ever. And the other thing is a new concealer I've been using. I bought the miniature version when this first came out and I loved it. This is the Tarte C Hydro Concealer. I really feel like it lives up to its name. It does seem to be more hydrating. I hate when I wear concealer under my eyes and it makes under my eyes look very like caked on. So this doesn't do that. I really like this one. And the packaging is really cute too. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Look how pretty this packaging is. And then the last thing I got is the Mario Badescu Super Collagen Face Mask. I really wanted to get a new face mask and this one had some really great reviews so I'll probably try this tonight and do a little first impressions 
see what we think. Guys, I am so freaking excited. Here's your sneak peek of the newest Sun Bunny phone case. This is coming on July 31st, which is next Friday at 10 a.m. This is the matcha latte iPhone case. I am obsessed. If you order one of these phone cases from Sun Bunny, you will get a complimentary pop socket. And this particular phone case is made of a different material than the lilac one. It's actually a lot better. It's a silicone material, so it's a little bit easier to grip, and I really like this one. Here's what my Friday night plans look like. I have to go through all of this inventory. I have to tag it and hang it up, and then I have to upload it into my system. And I also have to put in all the shipping weights. So I have a lot of work to do tonight. So I got pretty much everything for the next Sun Money drop uploaded and all of the weights are put in. I did not even start taking everything out of packages and tagging everything and hanging everything but I might just do that tomorrow. I just changed into this really cute oversized tie-dye shirt that's coming to somebody on the next drop. This is the Aaliyah oversized tie-dye t-shirt. It's so comfortable and I love the colors. I did not make this one myself. I bought this from a vendor, but oh my gosh, I just love it so much. I have a dilemma. So you know how I told you guys before I got the current accent chair that I have from Target, I had already ordered one that was bigger, but then I got this other one because I knew that I wouldn't have space for the bigger one. But then I ended up not having enough space for the smaller one, so I ended up rearranging anyway. And I put my printer and the little white drawer thing in my closet, and now I do have enough room for the larger chair. So I'm wondering if I should take it out of the box and build it, but then I'm scared what if I do and it's actually a lot bigger than I thought and I don't like it. So I don't know what to do because I could just leave it in the box and Chad and I could take it back to Target tomorrow. But at the same time, I feel like if I don't at least take a look at it, I'm going to regret it. I might just take it out of the box and get an idea of how big it is. Oh my gosh. Ugh. So here's the cushions for the new one and then here's this one. So it is quite a bit bigger, but I do kind of feel like it would fit here because I moved the thing so there's more room. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna build it and see if it fits. It says we need a hammer and a screwdriver. If I manage to put this together without Chad, I really don't need a man no more. I'm gonna go out to the garage and see if I can find some tools. Bingo. Ugh, oh my God, this is heavy. A screwdriver. I feel like I'm gonna break a nail getting this out. Okay, and then a hammer. Yeah, this looks doable. We got some short bolts, some washers and lock washers, flat washers, a good old hex wrench. I do not have faith in myself. I can definitely do this. There's plenty of women who build things by themselves all the time. I just feel like there's something wrong in my brain because I always struggle to follow directions that are written on paper. And I feel like the only reason I was able to build this desk chair earlier is because there was no like written directions. It was just pictures. <laughs> can't even believe it but I officially built the chair and it took me way longer than the average person and I did make a mistake and have to unscrew things I like did one side and I was like oh I already know how to do the other side so then I started doing the other side and then I realized that there's like this extra wooden piece that needed to go in before you do the other side so then I had to take this side apart so that's what happens when I try to build things because I just try to like skip ahead and I don't follow directions very well <laughs> But we did it and it looks so freaking good and I like this one a lot better than the other one because 
One, it's a lot bigger, so I feel like it's just gonna be more comfortable to sit in. I wanna have my coffee in the morning and be able to read a good book and just have this space as not just an accent, but to also use it. So that's why I like this one more. And it's also quite a bit lower to the ground, so it's definitely more of like a lounge chair. I'm just making some chickpea rotini for dinner with a little bit of tomato basil sauce. Here's the final product. Classic Melissa dinner right here, just noodles and pasta sauce. I feel like at this point, this vlog is probably really long, so I think I'm gonna end it here. I will be vlogging tomorrow. I'm trying to be more consistent with my vlogs because I feel like I was on a roll for a while and then things just got crazy when I first opened my store, but I'm slowly learning how to like handle everything and I'm going to be studying for the GRE soon and I know you guys are going to want content on that because I know a lot of you have said that you missed my college content and like studying and stuff but I just haven't been in school so it's actually been really nice to have a break but thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog and if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video